Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Shlokas Academy YouTube channel. And in this session, we are going to discuss about properties of charge. What is charge and what are the properties of charge? Properties of charge. Right. So why this is important? Actually, this is not a concept of chemistry. Actually, this is belongs to physics. But before going to the atomic model discussion, you should aware about properties of the charge. Then the atomic model numerical calculations will become very easy and there will be no ambiguity in this area. So that is why I'm going to discuss properties of charge, which is actually a physics topic. In the physics, you will discuss in second year, 12th class, right? So here, before going to the properties of charge, it is a very important topic. First, charge is quantized. The first property, charge is quantized. What is meant by quantized? Quantized means it can take only a fixed value. Means fixed value means it can take only integer values. For example, if I take charge Q, right? So it can take only N into E. E is what charge on electron or proton. N means what? It is only whole number, one, two, three, four, five, so on. It should not be a fractional value, 1.2, 1.5, etc., etc. That means charge is quantized. In a simple language, if I want to explain what is meant by quantized, for example, in the classroom, I want to distribute chocolate to the all students. If there are 30 students, Right. So minimum, how many chocolate I should purchase to distribute them? Minimum 30. That is 30 is quantized. And if I want to purchase chocolates and I should go to the, I should go to the shop and I should ask the shopkeeper to give me 30 chocolates. If I ask him, can you give me 20.2 chocolates? Will he give? He never. And if you want to purchase an X, so whenever you go to the shop and you should ask the shopkeeper either you should you want one egg or two egg, three egg, four egg. If you ask him 1.5 egg, it is not. Means in these two examples, chocolates and eggs are quantized. Quantized means they can take only integer values and they do not take fractional values. That is charge is quantized. And the second property, this charge is two types. We know very well two types. What are those two types? One is positive, one is negative. For example, if I ask you, the charge on electron is minus 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. Right, and charge on the proton is plus 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. If I ask you, charge on electron and charge on proton, which is having more charge means you don't apply your mathematics and you don't say the proton is having more charge than electron. It is not at all. Here, actually, the electron and proton both are having same charge, but they are opposite in nature. One is negative, another is positive. And you don't think that positive is a higher value than negative. That is in mathematics language. But in the chemistry, in this topic, positive and negative means just they are signs. That's it. Their magnitudes are equal, but their nature is opposite. That's it. Electron is deflected towards positive charge and proton will deflect towards negative charge. That's it. So you don't think that proton is having higher charge than electron. Understood? This is second and third one. In the third, uh, I can discuss, uh, for example, I have both negative charges and I have both positive charges, right? And I have one negative charge and one positive charge. If I take both negative charges, uh, they repel with each other. Both positive also repel and one negative, one positive. They attract with each other. Means here in the third property, you can say that like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. This is our third property. Understood? Next, fourth property. If I go for fourth, right? I have the charge Q1, 
it may be positive or negative. And I have another charge Q. The distance between these two charges is R, means they are separated by the Q1 and Q2. For an example, in the first case, I am taking positive charge on Q1 and negative charge at Q2. Right. If the distance between them is decreasing, means they come closer to each other. What about the forces of attraction between these two charges increases or not? Means simply I can say that as the distance increases between Q1 and Q2, the forces, whatever it may be, it may be attraction or it may be repulsion. If they are opposite in nature, they will have attractions. If they have same in nature, they will have repulsions. So these forces of attraction or repulsion are inversely proportional to distance. And that force can be calculated by F is directly proportional to, what is that? Q1, Q2 by R squared. Directly proportional to charge and inversely proportional to distance between them. Right. And if I remove this proportionality, I can write F is equal to K into, right, Q1 by Q2 by R squared. And what is K means I can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, right, into Q1 by Q2 R squared, Q1, Q2 by R squared. And here, if you want to express this force in SI system, the Q1, Q2 must be in coulombs. Charge should be expressed in coulombs. R should be in meters. If you want to express in CGS system, it should be in centimeter. Sorry, it should be in electrostatic unit and it should be in centimeter. And in CGS system, the entire value is one. And in CGS system, the K value is an SI system. So nine into 10 to the power of nine. So this is about fourth point. And fifth point, no. I'm taking fifth point. If I take potential energy, right, of a system having two charges, again, Q1, Q2, separated by a distance of R, then the potential energy is given by, say, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, Q1, Q2 by R, not R squared. So this is fifth property and sixth property. For example, if there is a surface, and the surface is having only one charge, that is Q. Then the surface of this Q and having potential difference V, then the energy of this system will be equal to QV. So these are the sixth, six important properties that are associated with the charge, and you should remember all these things. Once again, we will write a review on these properties of the charge, right? Let me discuss one by one properties of charge first. Right. What is the first property? Charge is quantized. What is the meaning of quantized? Already I have explained. You can take an example of chocolate and as well as eggs, whose quantity is fixed, which can take only integer values of E. E means charge. So that is Q is equal to N E. N must be one, two, three, so on but it should not, should not be a fractional value. And this charge is of two types, positive and negative, right? Positive charge, charge on proton and charge on electron. Now, already I told that this doesn't mean that proton has high charge, right? Both electron and proton have same charge, but their nature is opposite. Now, same charges repel each other Opposite charges attract each other. Charge is a scal scalar quantity. It is not quantitatively, I made a mistake, Quantita scalar quantity it is. Not quantitatively, it is scalar quantity, one minute, scalar quantity. Right, and force between two charges always act along the line joining the two charges, means I have Q1, and Q2. The force between these two will act along this line only. And this force is equal to this one. Already we have discussed it. Understood all of you. So please make the notes of this one also, properties of charge, right, that we have discussed. Next, uh, here Q1, Q2 by R square. Once again, I'm writing here. 
f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by r square next right note very important note it is in si system means when the problem is given in si system in si system right q1 value and q2 value should be in coulomb and r value in meter and this entire value is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 in cgs system q1 comma q2 are in esu electrostatic units and r should be in cm and this entire value is 1 potential energy of a charge system containing two charges q1 and q2 placed at a distance r is given by this one same as it is that force of attraction or repulsion but in that case it was r square but here only r if a charge q is placed on a surface having potential v volt then energy of charge is given by e is equal to q v these are the six properties of the charge so please make a notes all this all together this is very important in the next session we will discuss atomic models right slowly we are entering into the in-depth of the topic so please copy the notes regularly and please watch the videos regularly do subscribe and do share as many as shares to your friends and ask them to subscribe